Digital Photography Basic Exposure You will likely begin to notice light and exposure in your images and those you see around you. In advertising, magazines, online and in movies. This is great. Take notice of what you like and don't like in the images. Notice the feeling the artist conveys in the image by manipulating lighting and exposure. Aperture Aperture as a tool for creative expression in photography. Manipulating depth of field through the aperture setting is a favorite creative control for many photographers. Look at this page. In this page, you could see if you have F2 opening lens. In this case, you can take a picture in low light situation. If you increase the number f2.8, you can see opening is getting smaller. f4 is also smaller. f5 to f16 is smaller. So aperture relationship is bigger the number, smaller the opening and smaller the number, bigger the opening. Alright guys, here are your camera. At first you select the aperture scroll, which is your aperture priority mode. A is the aperture priority mode. You can also do manual which is easy to take a picture. But you need to know how shutter speed work and how ISO work because manual is 100% you have to save the setting by itself the aperture is semi automatic look at this page in this page you could see if you have f2 put the turn on your camera if you look here this is on my camera this is aperture I can move this aperture button. So here are you see clearly as an aperture number and that is the F number I will talking about. Okay, I change the number, the number is smaller the opening and smaller the number bigger the opening. F3.2, here are your camera. At first you select 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.6, 6.3, 7.1, 8 and 9. Alright, the aperture of the lens is shrinking. Remember, aperture relationship. Bigger the number, smaller the opening. Smaller the number, bigger the opening. F32 is the maximum my camera. Okay. That is how it changes the aperture. Shutter speed. Shutter speed is probably one of the easiest elements to understand in the exposure triangle. You can think of your shutter as your cameras, windows curtains. When the shutter is open, the curtains are open. 
The curtains are open and light is reaching the sensor. When the shutter is closed, the curtain are closed and the sensor is kept in the dark. To get enough light to the sensor to capture an image, you adjust the length of time the shutter is open. The longer the shutter is open, the more light reaches the sensor.